Alright, so proportions. So in binomial we learned that P is basically a probability of success in a population. On the other hand, PS is your probability of success but in a sample. So so basically PS follows a normal with mean being P and your variance being PQ over N. Now uh, if you have to find the z value, your z value becomes ps minus p over root of pq over n. Now let's say, uh, okay, so let's say 3% of pi's arriving at a freezing center are broken. So p over here is 0 0.03 because my probability of success, in this case my probability of broken pies is 3%. Now, what's the probability that on a morning when 500 pies arrive, so n is 500, when 500 pies arrive, 5% uh, or more will be broken. Now, there are two ways to do it. Number one is through a binomial distribution so x follows a binomial with n being 500 and p being 0 0.03 right so 5% or more so 5% 5 of 500 is basically twenty five so what I'm looking for here is probability of x greater than equals to 25 right now um, I can easily approximate by, by this, this binomial to a normal because NP is greater than 5 and NQ is also greater than 5 so x follows a normal um, NP is 503 percent that's 15 so your mu is 15 and 15 into 0.97 is 14.55 now probability of x greater than equals to 25 can also be written as probability of x greater than 24 so after continuity correction this will become probability of x greater than 24.5 and this becomes z greater than 24.5 minus 15 upon root of 14.55 right and after sol uh, after solving this your final answer becomes 0 0.0064 so this is how you do this uh, using a binomial distribution but this exact same question can also be done using uh, proportions so PS follows a normal with P that's probability of success being 0 0.03 and your variance becomes 0 0.03 P into 0.97 into q up upon n over that's 500 in this case now I'm looking for probability of ps greater than equals to 0 0.05 but since I assumed that my ps follows a normal distribution I will have to do continuity correction. So continuity correction in proportions is basically plus minus of 1 upon 2n. So 1 upon 2n in this case will be 1 upon 1000 and this becomes 0 0.001. So for this simply we all we have to do is so continuity correction and proportion is in exactly the same way as uh, we do continuity correction when we move from binomial to normal so 
greater than or equals to 0 0.05 can also be written as greater than 0 0.04. So um, I subtracted 0 0.5 in, uh, when, I did, when I did it using binomial. So in this case, I will subtract 0 0.001. One. So that's a thought process that goes around whether you have to add 1 plus 2n or whether you have to subtract 1 plus 2n. Um, you just take it uh, as if you are doing continuity correction after moving from a binomial to a normal and this just simply add or subtract 1 upon 2n. So this becomes probability of z greater than equals to 0 0.049 minus 0 0.03 upon 0 0.03 into 0 0.97 upon 500 the whole thing root this becomes probability of z greater than equals to 2 point six two and this gives you the same result that's zero point zero zero six four so this is how you uh, solve the question using proportions now the last component for this in for this chapter is confidence interval for for proportions. So, um, the formula is PS minus Z under root PS QS over N, where PS is your uh, Pro probability of success in the sample, QS is your probability of failure in the sample Good. Let, let P and on the other hand this becomes PS plus Z so basically Z times the standard deviation of PS which follows a normal distribution now let's do a quick example for this one so I have this question over here and it says that a manufacturer wants to assess the proportion of defective items in a large batch produced by a particular machine. He tests a random sample of 300, so your sample size n is 300, and finds that 45 are defective. So P is, which is your probability of success, in this case probability of finding defective items in the sample, is 45 over 300. Now, calculate a 95% confidence interval. So, 95% means this region is 95%, uh, this region is 0.95% and this um, is where P lies. So, if this region is 95%, this region is 0 0.975 and your z value corresponding to the area of 0.975 is 1.96 now a 95 percent confidence interval so we know the formula so ps is 45 over 300 minus 1.96 times 45 over 300 multiplied by 255 over 300 that's QS upon 300 And on the other side, this will be 45 over 300 
plus 1.96 times root of 45 over 300 times 255 over 300 upon 300 and after you solve this the answer will be 0 0.11 to 0 0.19 and that's your confidence interval for the proportion a 95% confidence interval so basically your z value uh, always depends on um, the, con the conference interval percentage and you uh, and you find it you by adding the uh, one part of your leftover region and then you find the z value and then just plug it in the formula and that's how you calculate the conference interval so that's it for the topic of proportions and we are done